Hello, everybody, and welcome again to another edition of Taxi Squad Talk from uh, Neuroscience Group Field at Fox City Stadium. These interviews brought to you by SureDry, and joining us is former Wisconsin Timber Rattler and Milwaukee Brewers prospect Aaron Ashby. And uh, Aaron, a uh, little late joining the uh, alternate training site, but uh, you kind of jumped in here, and, and how's it all going for you so far? It's going really good, Chris. You know, it's just it's really nice to be here and um, seeing all the guys. You know, you, I didn't get to see them for – However long it's been, three and a half, four months it felt like. But um, it, it's that that's the main thing for me is just getting back and spending time with the guys has been been really good. And, of course, the baseball is just the cherry on top. We were talking a little bit before the interview about how uh, your, your first appearance in a game situation at the alternate training site was on Friday, and you said it had been 53 weeks since your last, uh, I guess, pitching in game conditions and that just had to feel weird after growing up playing baseball and, and going almost year round right yeah I mean I I got out there and I was telling Jim when I got back in I was like I don't even remember what just happened I I, I think I blacked out up there but um, <laughs> so I had so much adrenaline going and um, but it, it was it was Good, good to be back out there on the mound for sure. I think that's that's one of the main things about this whole setup is is the competition is still there between guys. Even though you're you friends and you've seen them all in the past, when you get out there, you just want to do as well as you can. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, the, these guys are you now the top guys in the organization, and it's it's nice to have that constant competition, and um, you know competitiveness to every at bat that you're facing these guys now you were in spring training when everything got shut down and uh it was a little bit of a scramble for you because you and and your roommate bryce terang took a little bit of a side trip uh when things all of a sudden got decided that it was over just kind of take us through the 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 hectic time uh, at the end of uh the spring training for the minor leagues yeah so like i said earlier um you know I think we left there on March 6th or March 7th, whatever day it was. And Bryce and I decided to take a little weekend trip to uh, California. He was with his family and I go see my buddy whose birthday it was. And then we got the text on Saturday saying, hey, come to the field and pick your stuff up. And then, you know, we drove back Sunday morning and packed all of our stuff up. Bryce went to Oklahoma and I stayed at the house for a little bit longer and you know, waited another week till I went home. But yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a weird time, no doubt. What uh, what were you doing between the calling off of spring training and, and getting the call to come here to back to Appleton? Um, I did a lot of working out, um, you know, baseball obviously, and then I spent a lot of time fishing and golfing at home. And then I went out and worked out with with my buddy out in uh, L.A. And um, that's about it. Work out, fish, and golf, I suppose. Who's the better fisherman between you and Scotty Sunich? Because uh, I'm, I'm Scott following. Scott Sunich, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even let me finish yeah, the question. Yeah, th there's no doubt. Scott, Scotty's a uh, professional angler. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to compare myself to him. <laughs> how, how do you stack up golfing against other former timber rattlers? Uh, I'd say I'm up there. Actually, I uh, played this morning and shot a uh, – 83 so I'm, I'm happy with that and uh shot like a 76 a couple of weeks ago so i i think i'm i think i can compete compete against you know whoever now you got called up to carolina and you know we talked with with bryce terang about his call up because he had the walk-off hit in july and then got called up and, and was told he was going up to carolina the day after you were called up about a month earlier but you had kind of a weird call up as well because you had pitched a, a game in Beloit. It was suspended, and then we had to come back and finish it in June, and you actually wound up pitching the complete game uh, yeah. in that game, giving up a walk-off to the snappers here at the stadium, which was weird, but then you found out you got called up to Carolina after that, and that just had to be a, a, an odd situation for you. Yeah, it was really weird. Um, I remember just being kind of down. Obviously, it's a weird game to begin with, you know, starting the game a month prior, whatever it was, and then finishing it giving up the walk-off hit, you know, you're down, and then Maddie tells you, hey, you're going to Carolina, then it's like, all right, well, I, I, I'll, I'll deal with the loss and then you know, pack my bags and get up there and do it all over again. Are you upset that you missed the Utter Tuggers game? Yes. Yes, I am. Those, those jerseys and hats are incredible. That, that's one of the uh, greatest minor league jersey promotions I've, uh, I've ever seen. Now, <laughs> we, when you get down to Carolina – 
Uh, your first game was against uh, against Winston Salem. Mm-hmm. Seven innings, one hit, eight strikeouts. Uh, you talked about your adrenaline pumping here. Uh, it must have been really going down there in your in your uh, Carolina League debut too. Yeah, no doubt. Um, got there, arm felt great. Weather was good, a little humid, and um, just had it working. Um, I th- think Mario caught me that game. Mario or Peyton, both of them are great, and um, we just had it working that day. Um, the one thing that we've had a chance to ask everybody that was on the 2018 team, 2018 team. Now was about the three-run walk-off strikeout and their reaction and where they were. You had pitched the night before, yeah. So you didn't. You knew you weren't going to be in that game. Where are you? Where were you watching it from? What was your reaction as it was happening? And, and what was your feeling in the clubhouse afterwards? Um, that was that was one of the craziest things I've seen on a baseball field. I was sitting right or standing right here in the dugout behind me, and. Um, I, I remember when the first run scored, I was like, all right, that's that's different. And then the second came around, and then the third came around. I was like, and then, you know, we charged the field or whatever, and <laughs> it was just is crazy. That's that's probably top three craziest things I've ever seen on a baseball field. All right, well, <laughs> we won't ask you to rank them, but we will ask you about your bobblehead. Uh, the Timber Rattlers yes. announced you as a bobblehead on August 2nd. Unfortunately, like the Ethan Small bobblehead, it's not here yet, so we can't show it on camera or give it to you during this interview. But uh, what was your reaction, and have you seen any uh, of the uh, artist renderings of them yet? I have not seen any of the artist renderings. Um, hopefully, the bobblehead is as good looking, if not better looking, than myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but uh, no, I was, I was extremely excited to you know have my own bobblehead here. That's always you know kind of a dream as a kid, I guess. But, um, yeah, extremely thankful for everyone who voted um, and got enough votes on there for you guys to make me one. I All appreciate right. it. Yeah, we're, we will get you one before you leave, Aaron. And, and Sounds good. I know, it, I know you probably weren't expecting to be back here, but uh, we're <laughs> happy you are back and, and getting a chance to at least make sure this isn't a lost season for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's good to be back here, and we appreciate everything that all you guys do here for us and, you know, keep, keep this thing fun and, and, you know, competitive and everything that it is. So thank you, guys. All right. That's Aaron Ashby on Taxi Squad Talk, brought to you by SureDry.